Hello, you guys, and welcome back. Um, I'm starting my weekly vlog on Saturday because I don't work for the next couple days. So I'm like, I'll just start it today. So it is Saturday, like I said, it is a little after three. My husband should be back pretty soon. He went to go to the gun store because his friend wants to buy his first gun, second gun, I think it's his first gun. And then he also wanted to go look at cars again because he does need a car still. <laughs> so that's an update, he's still looking for a car. Um, the boys are currently half entertained, half fighting, half getting along, half, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm gonna go in there in a second and figure it out. Changed out of my um, work stuff, showered, put some comfy clothes on, and I'm just sitting here. It's super gloomy, and it's been raining on and off. We were gonna take the kids to the um, water park by my mom's house, and it just was like so gloomy earlier and then it started sprinkling. So we're gonna maybe try for tomorrow. I don't know, tomorrow's kind of a busy day as well because um, I have church, well we have church, the boys and I, and it's like our sticker on Sunday. So they're gonna have food and stuff afterwards. And then I also was tr trying, trying to go and donate tomorrow to save up for money always needing extra money um but if we're going to go to the water park i just don't know how that, all that's gonna fit in i looked up the times because i thought they closed at seven and apparently they close at five so um, even if i went because they said they have an opening at the donation place for 1 30 i'm like even if i went at 1 30 i probably wouldn't be done until like almost three o'clock and then the water park closes at five so like how would that work so that was kind of frustrating, trying to get it all worked out in my head. It's frustrating me. And then also tomorrow is like a big yard day for us. Well, not for me, but my husband, his dad's gonna come, his little brothers are gonna come, and they're gonna do the yard, the weeds, everything. His dad's gonna help him get this yard looking really, really nice. So that's exciting because we definitely need some yard work done but it's just a lot it's a busy 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 weekend and i um i have to ask him still but his grandma's birthday was a few days ago and we had originally planned to order her some food and take it to her like order her dinner and go visit with her and have her eat her dinner since she's not well enough or physically able to get out to a restaurant um i don't know if we're still doing that I need to ask him when he gets here. Because if we are, that's in like two and a half, three hours. Like dinner time is fast approaching. And I don't even know what I'm gonna feed them for dinner, so I'm, I don't know. I guess they didn't have any screen time like all morning while I was gone. And then I get back and I'm like, okay, you guys can have screen time for a little bit. And it's like, as soon as the TV goes on, they don't know how to act. So I think going forward, we're just gonna stop with the screen time altogether for them, especially for like the duration of the summer. And I just need to work on like being more hands on, like being more hands on with them, finding more activities for them to do, just ways to keep them like stimulated and interested and all this other stuff. Because yeah, like I said, screen time, uh, screen time seems to be having a negative effect on their behavior, which I've read a couple things here and there from other parents that screen time also affects their kids differently, like their attitudes and their moods change. So I think we're just going to cut out the TV for the rest of the summer and see how that goes. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I just wanted to kind of start this out by like saying, you know, I'm sorry I've been gone. I had filmed like entire like mental health video and it was actually a really good video and it went into depth about like how I'm feeling and just all this different stuff. It was such a good video and I might still upload it at another time to just kind of like summarize my mental health. Like I might upload it in a couple weeks or something, but I'll just tell you guys now, like mentally I have been struggling, which has then led to physical health issues. Um, my anxiety has been really bad and my blood pressure has been dangerously high, which has been affecting 
me donating. Luckily, I've been able to donate the last two times I went, but my blood pressure was out of range three visits before that. Um, and it's pretty much been elevated for the last two weeks. It was at like 145 over 96 initially when I went two weeks ago to donate. And I was like, wow, that's really high for me. Um, and the phlebotomist said, well, you know, are you, do you have like white coat anxiety? And I was like, no, I'm like, this is the highest my blood pressure's ever been. I've been donating for, since my oldest son wasn't even born yet. I'm like, I've been donating for nine, almost 10 years. Um, you know, I've never had issues with my blood pressure. Now I have put on weight and I have not gained recently, but you guys know that I've talked about my weight before. I've gained a lot of weight since I had the twins. And I'm thinking just with my age, my metabolism is slowing down even more. And I'm not like actually losing weight. I'm just kind of like stagnant. That probably has something to do with it. And then me being anxious and overwhelmed because of stress with the kids and money and all that is just like a huge factor, I think, as well. And the highest it got up to the other day was like 160 something over 111, which is like super high. And it really scared me. Um, I've already been to the doctor, they did blood work to test for like diabetes. Uh, they were gonna have me do a sleep study to for sleep apnea, like all these things. Cause I've been feeling like dizzy when I stand up too fast. I've been like foggy brained. I've been having migraines, a lot of cognitive like issues. And so they're like, oh, she might have sleep apnea. Cause my mom has it and my mom has high blood pressure. So they just wanted to like look into all of that. But none of that, I do have the high blood pressure and I am being put on medication for it. But as far as like the cognitive issues and like some of my other health problems, they did a test for COVID antibodies and I came back positive. So I don't have COVID, but that means that I recently had COVID within the last couple months and the antibodies are still in my system, which means that like I'm still experiencing uh, COVID symptoms. So I got diagnosed with long COVID. I'm having like a super extended version of it because some people have COVID and then like they're like I don't know sick for like three to four weeks in which the window now like the quarantine is like five days or something so they're sick for like a couple weeks me I haven't had a positive COVID test for a while and so with me having the antibodies in my system still um it just means that from the last time that I had COVID a couple months back I'm still experiencing those symptoms. So I have like a really long version of long COVID. And unfortunately, there's no like real way to determine when it will, like when it will go away. Some people have long COVID symptoms for the rest of their lives. And it's just like really sad to think about. I'm like, that means I could potentially have these health issues for the rest of my life that I've never had before. And now it's like really affecting my life and my health. So I just wanted to put that out there that that is a big thing that's going on. Mr. Ezra ran out of pull-ups, poor baby. So we're at Walmart. We were supposed to go straight to his grandma's house for dinner. We actually have the food in the back that he ordered to take over to her. And we all got food, apparently. I thought it was just going to be her, but we all got food. So we're just going to sit over there and all eat together. So that'll be nice. But he had to run into Walmart to get pull-ups. And I didn't have to drive the car. I'm like, if we're going to take my car, I'm not driving. So he drove. And it's raining. Literally, as soon as he parked, it started pouring. And he, he looked at me, and I'm like, better go in. So he did. Also, I'm so stupid. He figured out a way for me to film in my car again, like with my mount. He's like... It was, it was the easiest thing. So the one side is broken. Like it doesn't hold my phone in place. He's like, just flip it. So he turned it the other way so that it was upside down and the other end works. And I put my phone in it and sure enough, my phone stays. He's like, why don't you just do it like that? And I'm like, so little, little life hack. All right, we are all ready for church and I am like fully embodying the cottage core today with the dress. And you guys have seen my little clog shoes before from Walmart. But I've only worn this dress 
This is the second time I'm gonna put you guys down. I need to um get my seatbelt on. But yeah, this is the second time I've worn this dress, and I don't know why I don't wear it anymore. It is so pretty, and it is so stark white. So hopefully I don't get it dirty today. Yeah, it's super super pretty with all the little like eyelets and flowers and yeah, Ross for like what fifteen dollars. So yeah. And they might still have it because I think when I went a couple months ago, they had the navy blue version of this one. So if you guys like this dress, I would maybe go to Ross and see if they still have it. We are back from church and I have been cleaning like a mad woman. Just cleaning because I have a job interview early in the morning. And um, I'm excited for it. So I've just been trying to get everything done because interview, swimming lessons, a lot of stuff going on. But I wanted to show you guys something really cool. I'm gonna cover my address, but I'm gonna flip the camera around. So this is my acceptance from the admissions office at Indiana University. Um, I'm gonna be going back to school. I'm just gonna flip that over. I'm gonna be going back to school for, um, my bachelor's in science of imaging technology, I think. It's kind of a long, long title, but it's basically under radi um, radiology, which is a four-year program. But yeah, I'm going to be going back to school. So I'm very excited. So that's another little life update. Good morning. It is, uh, what's today? Sorry. It's Monday. I have my job interview in two hours. So I'm gonna get up and get dressed. Everyone is still asleep. And my mother-in-law should be here in like an hour. Yeah, she should be here at eight so that I can leave at 8.30. <sighs> I'm tired. Me and Nathan and my husband did all of the raking trimming and cutting back weeds we didn't do the grass but we did like all of the outside work by ourselves and we were outside for like three hours so i'm tired i'm sore <sighs> oh, i'm still sleepy and don't know if you guys can see it or not i have a band-aid on because i sliced well i didn't slice my thumb my gardening gloves rubbed the skin raw on my thumb from raking so hard it was the way I was gripping the rake so that's nice swept up what feels like 10 pounds of dirt and the floor still looks dirty um we just tracked in so much dirt and stuff yesterday from outside and if I remember um I'll show you guys at some point today um also, we put all the little ant stakes out because those finally came. <sighs> they said you really won't see things like results for like two weeks. So two more weeks of killing the ants that I see inside the house. And then hopefully, hopefully that works and gets rid of them. But the tree outside looks really nice. The hedges look super nice. He got those nice and even. And me and Nathan just did so much raking so much raking i mean he raked too but he was doing a lot of like the edging and trimming because obviously nathan can't do that and so i helped nathan rake um and oh you can actually see it from here we have these orange lilies i think they're day lilies and there's one on the other side of our driveway and then there's one up here i told him do not cut it down leave it alone it has like six little bulbs on it it's so pretty and it looks like actually it looks like it closed up weird so it was fully open yesterday but it looks like that one closed up we're gonna go look okay, so right there um that big one to the left was actually open yesterday I don't know too much about flowers, so they must close when it's cold because it is like only 59 degrees. 
but the one on the left there was open. And then that one on the right, that is a new one that came up overnight, which I'm so excited about. And then as you can see, there's like four or five other little bulbs on there. And it's just that one flower coming up from the bushes. So I told him, do not kill it, leave it alone, because I'm super excited about it. And then hedges over there. They're kind of nice, it was a look. I was so proud of him. He also took care of the tree a little bit. We still need to um, get out there and replace the rocks. As you can see, those are the old rocks that were around it. And we want to do white bricks and stack them um, off center from each other and put those in like three layers around the tree because that would be so pretty. And if you guys don't know, this tree turns bright red in the fall. It is absolutely amazing. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite things about this house and like the sole reason that I told him we are not ever going to cut that tree down because it just looks so pretty when the leaves start to change. Just got done with the interview and it went really, really well. Um, I got to tour the facility and see the radiology department, the lab, the front desk, which is where she said I would be at most of the time, but then obviously if I needed to like room um, a patient and maybe collect a, a blood specimen or something, then they would call me back for that because she said they're really short staffed right now with people that can do front desk and do fleb work, which I said I could and that I would be flexible in that area. Um, she wants to move forward with the hiring process. So I'm very, very excited. I hope everything goes well. Um, the only thing is the schedule. So I can either do every single weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 12 hour shifts. Um, if I didn't want to do every weekend, then I would have to work one or two shifts during the week so that I'm not working every single Saturday and Sunday, which would mean I'd have to find someone to watch the boys from like seven or eight in the morning until my husband gets home. So uh, we gotta sit down and talk about that and figure all that stuff out. But um, I told her I would need two weeks if they do decide like once, like once the background check and everything goes through and like I officially get ho like hired in I told her I would need two weeks to let my boss know that I am leaving so I'm excited I just hope that I can figure out the schedule stuff I'm gonna have to like I said I'm gonna have to talk to my husband because I don't want to work every single Saturday and Sunday 12 hour shifts like I feel like I'll never be home with the boys um but if I stagger it then I can work like Saturday and Sunday one weekend and then like the following week, I can work like a Tuesday and a Friday, and then I don't have to work on the weekend. So, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be every week that I would need someone to watch the boys. It would be every other week that I would need a sitter. But like I said, it'll get figured out. It's just a lot. And I mean, like I said, I'm excited. I have not worked in healthcare for a little while now. And the fact that I will be going back into the medical field, hopefully, is just super, super exciting. And yeah, and just the school stuff and everything, like, I feel like things are starting to come together. And it gives me um, a sense of hope again. Because I've been, like, really down on myself and, like, kind of giving myself a hard time. Like, man, you need to be doing better with your life. But things are, things are coming together and they're working out, you know, however they're meant to work out. Because we have to go in here. Alright. Let's go. Take my hand. Take my hand. Take my hand. Okay, I see. Jump out. Jump out, jump out, jump out. Woo! Here, stay close. 
You can give me a gun. Huh? Oh. Okay, uh, come on. It's very windy. Uh, I made. I, I ran into Aldi to get just a couple groceries, and somehow I spent there. all of the money that I have until Wednesday when I get my paycheck, and I gotta pay bills out of that. And I have hair in my eyes. It's a great day. At least the sun is out, and at least it's beautiful, but I am stressed. <sighs> That's why I need a different job, you guys. My job doesn't pay me enough to live, I swear. At least the boys are in a good mood. Really quickly, or, excuse me, really quickly, before I forget. So, here's this mound of leaves, and as you can see, well, we kind of mess up the grass right there. But as you can see, we have this beautiful path that leads from the sunroom all the way around the back of the house. But you couldn't see it because of all of the leaves. And this is everything we did yesterday. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the front. So we cleared the entire driveway and there's another little pile up there. And then the flowers from this morning. See, it opened. It was closed when I woke up this morning, and then that one's about to open up as well. And then we have some more all along there. We have tons over there. I just noticed it. I kid you not. Ignore the screaming child, first of all. I kid you not, but all of this was 70 something dollars. Like, I'm not even joking. From freaking Aldi of all places. I'm just so shocked. But I did grab this for the boys because we don't really ever bake or do things like that together. And then I got some healthier alternatives to Lunchables for my husband. This is a three pack. And I might actually eat one of these. These look really good. I got him that fruit and cheese one. And then I also got him one of these little snack packs. I got these for myself. I feel like lately I have not been buying myself anything, like specifically for me. So I got three of these. These are my absolute favorite, and I haven't been to Aldi in like a couple months. So I got had to had to stock up on those energy drinks for the husband, the essentials, and then I also grabbed these cookies for myself. Pretty much everything else you see is for the kids: sausages um, for breakfast, frozen pizza, white cheddar puffs. Mashed potatoes for dinner, tons of yogurts, waffles. And then they didn't have the drinks that I used to get from there. So I got these bottled drinks. So hopefully they're just as good. They were only like, like 70 something cents. You guys, dinner smells so good. Please excuse the oven. Look at that. Yum. I made the Mississippi. Chicken, it's just like the Mississippi um, crock pot pot roast, and I will link it down below. And then I'm about to get working on the mashed potatoes. And then I also have some biscuits to go on the side. Good morning, it's the next day. Um, I'm gonna run in and try to donate before Nathan's swimming class. And I'm a little stressed right now. Hopefully my blood pressure is good. Waiting for Nathan to get done. With swimming and I've got my little snack select and I also picked up a salad again from that pizza place and then just this strawberry kiwi snapple so I'm gonna sit here adjust my seat I'm gonna sit here and eat and probably watch some YouTube the usual um, but then I need to when I get done here I need to hurry up and get home and get the boys um, ready and get their bag packed for the water park. My husband said he does when it comes, so it looks like we're all gonna go. And it is absolutely gorgeous out. I think it's like, it's, it's like 78, 79. It's supposed to get up to 84 by the time we go. And it's just beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky, like the perfect day for a water park. We got Pokemon. Pokemon. Batman. And then, oh, where'd he go? Pokemon, Batman. I am big and tall. Oh, okay, well, he's gone. I can't see it. Spider-Man. Batman. 
waiting for my husband to get here and then we are gonna head out. Boys have all their swim stuff, their swim vests. I packed snacks, drinks, everything. What? No one's peeing in the pool. Nathan! Not want to get out. Nate! Want to get out. Time to go. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I am currently making some hash browns for the boys for breakfast. And then we have a little bit of this kielbasa left. So I'm going to cut this up and um, fry it in the same butter and oil that I used for the potatoes. And it's going to be a good breakfast. And I hope they eat it because they've been really, really picky lately. A quick little outfit of the day. Put the shoes on. Earrings. Boys are getting in the car. And I'm going to go pick up some coffee. I was going to make some coffee. But I don't have like all of the special things that the coffee places do. I need to get like some caramel syrup. And or crumble drizzle and like some different things so that I can like actually make my own fancy coffees and stop buying Starbucks. I don't buy it that often anymore, but it's still expensive. And if you know, you know. We're at my grandma's house because my son has a swimming lesson soon. And I'm so jealous of her plants. She has this cute little ear plant from the botany shop, which is where I got my plants from. And then choose this one and this pretty aloe plant. I think that's aloe. Or is that a jade? Oh, I need to I need to learn my plants. Oh my gosh. And then look at her bamboo. How pretty is that? I'm like so jealous of that plant. It's so cute. Hi you guys. Please ignore how crazy I look. I'm having I don't even, I, I, yeah, I don't know. We're not even going to talk about it. Um, obviously, I'm in a different car today. I'm in my grandma's car because last night um, I was leaving my mom's house. Me and Nathan had been over there visiting. I was leaving my mom's house and I had parallel parked in between her car and another car. And I backed the car up. It was fine. I put the car in drive and it just stalled, just stopped. It just died. Like my dash was still lit up, but the car just would not go. And I was like, what the heck? So I started the car back. Uh, I took the, put the car in park because it had just died in drive. So I put my foot on the brake, put the car in park. I took the key out, waited a second put the key back in, started the car up again, the car starts fine, um, put the car in reverse, it went into reverse fine, and I went to go put it in drive again to at least move the car from in front of her house, because I'm like, okay, thinking in my head, like, if that happened the first time, it probably will happen again, but I at least need to try to see if I can get it moved farther up the street so it's not, like, potentially blocking someone else from their normal parking spot, since I don't go over there that often. And when I put it in drive again, it stalled out and just completely stopped. Like it didn't even like, kind of like, no, it like was in drive and it was went a little bit and then it just stopped right there. It kind of like lurched forward because it just stopped so abruptly. And I was like, okay. So I knew what I had to do. I was stuck. Like I said, I was trying to back up and go forward, back up and go forward so I could get out from the little tight space I had parallel parked in but I knew that wasn't gonna happen so I was able to then do what I did again um, put my phone in the brake put the car in park take the key out put the key back in start the car up put it in reverse and I just backed it back into the spot that I was in and I just turned the car off um, now when this all was happening my engine light had come on and it had not come on at this entire time like my engine light has never come on and it only came on when that happened and so I'm just thinking like something really really bad is probably wrong with the car I had to leave it at my mom's house my grandma had to come get me because me and Nathan had to get home 
somehow, some way. And it just was a bad situation. Like, my mom probably could have taken us home. But I know her car has some issues, too. So I, I think that's why she was hesitant to take us all the way back to our house. So my grandma had to come get us. And she made the suggestion. She's like, well, since you have work and, like, things that you need to do and get around for this weekend, then why don't you just take, um, why don't you just take my car and use it for a few days? And I said, okay. And then she's like, well, go ahead and call the car guy. Like, we have a guy that we all go to in our family for our car repairs. He's been working on our cars for years. And so I said, okay, I'll give him a call and see if I can get it towed to him in the morning to get fixed, right? I called and he's like, I'm on vacation until Wednesday. And I was just like, that's a whole week from now. What? So I was like, okay. And I asked if he had recommended anyone that I could go to to get my car fixed. And he's like, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. And I'm like, cool. All right. So that was like dead mission right there. The guy said I can have it towed on Sunday. So originally he said... Wednesday, I, th and I think I said something about this earlier too. This is my problem, guys. I have so much going on that I'm just repeating myself throughout this vlog, so I apologize if I already said this earlier, but he's coming back Saturday night now so that I can have it towed on Sunday, and then um, my husband said that he could probably have it towed to the shop that he took his car to get fixed, like a different shop, have it towed there on Friday and then um, let them uh, work on it before the holiday on Monday. Now, do I think I'd get it back right away if I went through them? No. Do I think they would charge more? Yes. Um, at, with Corey, our family car guy, he's relatively cheaper than other places and he usually gets cars, like he figures out the problem really fast. And gets it back to you quickly. Um, like I said, I can get my car in to the shop down the road from our house tomorrow. But that doesn't mean I'll get it back before... Um, that doesn't mean I'll get it back before Monday or Tuesday. And I have to work on Tuesday. So I'm, I need my car back by then. With Corey, he wants me to bring it Sunday morning. He could potentially figure out what's wrong with it before Sunday's over and get it back to me Monday evening or even Tuesday morning before I have to go to work. So, I don't know. Either way, I still have my grandma's car. Thank you, Grandma, for that. It's a huge blessing. Um, I'm at the library now, so I'm actually going to run in real quick and put some more apps in for some more medical jobs and just try to try not to think about all the bad stuff going on right now and just be thankful that I have a car to still get around and just you know just be thankful that something worse didn't happen to the car especially since me and Nathan were in the car when it happened watching the garden center people talk to the police while they just left watching the garden center people talk to the police because the alarm at the gas station has been going off for four hours. That's what the guy just yelled over to a police officer. That police officer took off and left the parking lot. But then two more cops just showed up. And there's a random car parked now. I didn't notice that car before. But yeah, the alarm's just been going off for like hours, they said. I don't know if someone broke in and robbed the place or what nuts hello and happy friday i probably look crazy actually no i know for a fact i look crazy because i'm looking at myself now my edges are all messed up whatever <laughs> um outfit of the day got this cute little this is actually a long thing with like long bow like long strings but i like double knotted it and like put little Put a little bow like I bunny eared it that's what I did I bunny eared it to make it a bow um because the things were too long on either side and my hair's not very long so well when my hair is not very long when it's curly so it didn't look very cute with the long things on either side but yeah that's my outfit today drinking my butter pecan iced coffee from Duncan because 
the Starbucks down the street has been really gross lately. Every time I have been there, it's been a disappointment. <sighs> like it looks aesthetically pleasing and then I go to drink it and it tastes like nothing. It has no flavor. So, Dunkin' it is. Like I said, the butter pecan iced coffee is actually really, really good. As long as you get enough cream and sugar in it, so. These are super cute, actually. I have a lot of shoes like this, though, so. We're gonna pass. Ooh, but they have black ones. Black ones are cute. I like the white ones better. And they have these cute little floral ones, too. And I like the pink ones. Oh, you like the and pink I ones? Like, yeah, those are cute. And I and like the wings. I like the lavender ones. ones. Those are I like the wings. Walmart has cute ones. shoes. I'm not gonna lie. I like, I like, I like these the ones. Rainbow. So cute. They look huge, though. They're cute. Let me see them. That's your favorite? That's my favorite. Oh, like the Mario it. one? Mario Kart? Yeah. Who do you like? Wario? Mario? I'm a Waluigi one. or Luigi? Which one? Uh, I like, like, like Mario. You like Mario? Yeah. Ezra, who I do like, you like? I like that one. Ooh. You like Mario too? This one. That one? This one? No, That's this Waluigi, one. I think. I want this one. Had no intention of coming to Walmart, but the boys were getting tired of being in the house. And it's raining, so here we are. I, I didn't think you wanted orange. And then they have this weird banana color. What is that? So are you happy with the colors you got? Oh, you guys are ignoring me. I'm going to buzz light your cars too. Hi guys, I'm in Nathan's room. I need to organize his room, but this is the outfit for today. Happy Saturday. Um, it's feeling a little bit cuter than yesterday. I wasn't a fan of yesterday's look, but today's look is really cute, and I have really good lighting in Nathan's room. Um, the boys are getting ready. I think I'm going to take them to the park today, and then we're going to go watch fireworks tonight with my mom, so super exciting. It is sweltering in my grandmother's car, but I'm on my way now to... Um, to go donate. I was supposed to donate yesterday morning and I ended up, um, I, I don't, it's not that I woke up too late. I woke up early enough. I just laid there and I was like, I'm not really feeling that great. So I didn't go and I rescheduled for today at 5 30 and I was like, man, that's kind of like late. I don't really want to go at 5 30. So it's three o'clock. I just called them. I was like, hey, I have an appointment at 530. Can I come earlier than that? And the guy was like, yeah, that's fine. I said, okay, good. Elijah is sleeping, but we're about to make I'm these falling. cups. I'm falling, mommy. Or milk. You're not falling. See? It's just a little wobbly. Here, we'll fix it. it. Yep, turn it around. Okay, you see that? Grab it. Okay. Pour it gently into our bowl. Can you do that? Nope. I'm gonna grab it this way. Grab it by the handle. Whoa! Good job. You got one more. <laughs> we need two more. Okay. Four. Four. <laughs> Twenty-five. Twenty-five. We're, miss we're whisking. We're whisking. You whisking. You whisking. See, look. It's it's getting there. See? Whoa! <laughs> And now it's gonna sit for five minutes, okay? Okay. Good night, see? All right. We're gonna let it go. And that's how it looks. Yum. Whoa! Say ta da! Ta da! <laughs> it looks just like the box, right? <laughs> just like the box. Good job, Ezra. Good morning. Uh, we are on our way to church. And I just realized that I forgot my grandma's bread that I bought for her at the house. Um, Cause that's just, just, just the kind of, that's how today is going. Okay, she's gonna be so mad at me. Uh, but I did make sure her gas tank has not went below half since I've had her car. So I've been doing that right. And I'm trying to hurry cause I have to be the one to pick her up from church. Church is done and it was really, really good. Uh, the boys are half asleep in the back seat. I went ahead and grabbed them 
some McDonald's for lunch because um, we don't have a ton of groceries at home. Like there's food and stuff, but everything has to be like cooked and it's already going on one o'clock and they have haircut appointments today. So just grab them something quick so they can eat and go get their haircut. And then I think my husband is grilling um, some burgers and hot dogs tonight and we might have some friends come over. So that'll be exciting. Their little girl is the exact same age as the boys. Hi guys, it is several days later and I'm just here to close out the video. Um, I don't know when I'll be filming again. I can't predict that right now. I'm kind of just enjoying this time off. I'll have some updates though when I do get back to you guys. But I'm just currently right now going through my closet and packing away some clothes, seeing what can be donated, all that good stuff. And then the boys and I are gonna head out to drop it off. And then we have a wedding to go to this weekend. And then I kind of like start back at work again on Sunday because I have had some time off. So that's what's going on. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.